Mr. E, the gamer, greatest ball disclaimer, warning of what you may get, he's the best of all, do not forget, he's awesome, he's so cool, subscribe now, that's the only rule, cause Mr. E's gonna keep doing like snow gaming left for tomorrow, Mr. E, the gamer. What's up guys, it's Mr. Euphonium, welcome to the part 3 of the neighborhood house tutorial, if you haven't watched part 1 and part 2 yet, you might as well go watch it, cause you're probably, you're really not gonna know what to do gonna be pretty lost but yeah let's get this video started oh and before we start I would like to ask everybody to go leave a like and if you're new here why not go subscribe you're gonna get more house tutorials or more anything so yeah go over two blocks with your bricks then you add another block of brick <laughs> I know you guys are probably laughing or either either you guys are laughing or you're like irritated right now but then you place one block of gray wool one block of black stained glass another block of black stained glass and then a block of gray wool and you want to get your block of bricks and you want to go over one two three four five six and seven blocks get your pillar quartz and you're gonna want to go up one in front of that and then go over diagonal from that go over three from that after going diagonal go back one diagonal and back another one diagonal and these two you actually want to bring them up two and then on these two right here you're gonna bring it up and on that one you're gonna bring it up but for these other three that I left open you're gonna bring up your glass one oh one two three four blocks one two three four one two three four and go ahead and make the court pillars match up with that And I actually am designing this on the spot. This part of it at least. The other parts I've already had planned out, but the front I've already had planned out, but the back never. So you want to bring court stairs and you want to go one right there, bring it over again, turn it right here, turn it right there, turn it right there, turn it, and then bring it over one, two, three four just like that turn it oops turn it turn it turn it turn it oop turn it up turn it up turn it up <laughs> sorry <laughs> and right there <clears throat> sorry about that all right you want to fill this in just like this so you should have Something like that. So a little, you know, how they have those things to stick out from your kitchen. Uh, if they do that in your house, at least. But anyway, you want to bring these windows up. The It's full potential. So in total, it's going to be four blocks tall. And then you want to bring the rest of the house up with it. Because, you know... There isn't like anything just floating by itself. Okay. Now, one thing I've noticed with houses like this, there's never any, or there's rarely any windows on the sides. And if there is, it's probably just because if there's a bathroom on the side, there's a teeny window. So we're actually just going to fill this in without any windows right here. Okay, guys. So this is what we have here. Now what you want to do is you want to bring this up one, two, three, four, and five blocks, just like that. And go ahead and do that all the way until you get right about here. So go ahead and do that. Now what you want to do is add two more blocks of bricks going up like that. And you want to do another window. So one, two, three, and four. One block of that, one block of that, and gray wool. Then you want to 
fill that in on top of that and you want to go over one two three with your bricks oops having some fr flying issues actually want to bring your bricks all the way over I don't know why I only counted out three Controller to move over there. Okay. So you just want to go over this one block. Just one. Just one. Alright. You're going to get your black stained glass and you're going to go up one, two, three, four, just like that. Then you want to get your bricks and go up one, two, three, four. Black stained glass, one, two, three, four. Bricks, one, two, three, four. Black stained glass, one, two, three, four. Bricks, one, two, three, four. Black stained glass, one, two, three, four. And you want to trace on top of that. Just like that. And now that you have that shape, you're going to want to place a line over top of that. Place another line, leaving out the two corners right there. And another line. And then you're gonna to wanna to break right here and fill it in like I'm doing on the screen. Now you wanna bring this up. And actually what you, if you want more design to be in there, you actually can break this and bring in a sideway pillar, uh, thingamajigger, block. Yeah, that's what it's called, block. Okay, now you want to actually bring up your bricks right here because why would you have that open? And you're gonna want to bring it up one and two. Now, if you want a back door option, option, excuse me, you're gonna to want to do this. So you're gonna skip this. So you're gonna go over one, two, three, four, five. And six, I'm gonna bring this up right here. I'm gonna connect it at the top. And this should be aligned with this. So let's go ahead and bring this back and see. Oh, so no fear, we can just always bring this down like this. So now it's aligned. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh yeah, I was right. I just put it in the wrong place for some reason. Okay. Now you want to get your gray stairs. I'm going to bring this around just like this. And once again, bring this around. All the way until you meet up. Oh wait, no. Not on this side. What are you doing? What are you doing? You want to make that pop out once just like that and you just want to connect that so you can see if it will actually fit so now you want to delete this right here oops and make that stick out one and then you want to get your bricks and you want to connect this right here and you want to leave out the edge block just like that and go ahead and do that until it meets with a little point that you've been doing this whole entire build just like that and this time it should be a block of two in the center if you don't have two it's okay because you can always do yours with one Okay, so this is where it might get a little bit tricky, but you guys are big people. You guys can handle it. You're going to want to bring this over until I say stop. Stop! Okay. Uh, I was gonna. Yeah. You actually want to bring it over right here. It's gonna. It's actually. I don't, I don't know why I said that's tricky because it's actually pretty easy but yeah until it's right behind that 
you want to go ahead and bring that up to a point. You know what I mean? Uh, up to a point. So go ahead and do that now. As you can see, me doing it on screen right now. You guys can build along with me. You might be because I'm putting on some swiftness. Okay. Now you've got something that looks like that. You want to get your cobblestone stairs and go on top of this, just like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Do that on the other side as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. I don't know. Yeah, it, it's just one more because you've already had the first one right there. So, no biggie. Go ahead and do it on this side. This time they should both be ten. One, two, oops, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, both time they should be nine. My bad. I don't know. I'm just messing up all today. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Get your court stairs and outline that. So it should be popping out. There we go. Just like that. Okay, guys. Thank you for watching the part three of this house tutorial. We're almost done, so make sure to stick around for part four. Uh, there is... Uh, I think it's only one part left, but I'm not really sure. I can't really remember, and I haven't put them all together yet. Um, but remember to go leave a like on this video. If you don't do anything else today, not even eat, make sure you're liking the video. If you're new, go ahead and subscribe. Share this video with all your friends so they can have this beautiful house on their home, their worlds. And, yeah, I think that's it. You can leave a comment if you want, but you don't have to. Uh, I'm Mr. Euphonium. Enjoy your day.